I'm James. Oh, oh. I'm James. Oh, yes, you're your mom. Yes, it's her, my son. Oh, okay. That's my brother and sister. Oh, yeah, we're Next, we have Miss Frances O'Kenzie. You have no money with it? No money, right? No money. No money, no check with this thing, right? Not this year. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, your eyes are open. Whoever cut that out is getting a hundred dollars. Next we have Miss Judith Williams.
Do it, do it, just do this, just do this. Next we have Miss Claret Blanchard. Miss Claret! Come 
Check the picture of Phil. Hello, come, 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 come. Okay. Can you please turn on the light, please? The light, please turn it on. and say, you know what, I have a few people that work very, very, very hard. They go above and beyond. So, I decided to reward them, reward them this evening. Well, Slack decided to reward them this evening with some awards. So, Owen, um, where's, um, Sean, Sean will be presenting for his brother. Hey, hey, come on now, give it up for Owen, give it up for Owen. You know, um, when uh, my sister-in-law called me and asked me to to talk on behalf of my brother, I couldn't be more happier um, than to say yes, because I know he's such a wonderful brother, um, and uh, he's done so many things for our family, so I just wanted to read a quick little bio of my brother. Um, he don't have to come up here right now, but at the end, he, he can come up here. But uh, for the, those of you who don't know me, I'm Sean Antoine. I am the second eldest of five. Um, I was part of Slack, one of the founding members. Right, Bruce? There you go. So, uh, but I just wanted to read this up real quick. And it goes here. And let me get your attention. One of the other things I love about this is because people don't get their flowers until when? They're dead, right? So we want to make sure we Give them their flowers now so that way they can enjoy it and appreciate it. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons I love what Burnett and her crew is doing because it means so much to our community to have people be recognized like this um, and not in any grave. So let's go ahead. In the vibrant <laughs> tapestry of life, certain individuals stand out as beacons of inspiration. Can I, can I just get your attention please because I think this, he means so much to me, and I think this organization, I've um, always been the treasurer of this organization for over, I can't even tell you, 10, 12 years. And uh, if the money's short, you know it's him. But um, So again, Owen Roger Antoine, affectionately known as Big O. Big O is undeniably one such luminary born on August 5th, 1969 to Rita Antoine and Horace Walters on the beautiful landscape of St. Lucia, Owen emerged as a natural leader from the outset. As the eldest among all his siblings, he carried a sense of responsibility that would shape the trajectory of his remarkable journey. And I'll tell you something, when we came up here from St. Lucia back in 1981, my brother, we came up here with shorts and tank tops. And it was my sister, my brother, and I. And uh, he tried to cover both of us up, but there's no way it was happening, even not, no matter how big he was. But we came up to Bradley Airport, and we were freezing in February of 81. So, um, yes. So uh, Owen went to all the Hartford Public High Schools, and then went on to University of Hartford. He became the crucible of, of academic explorations culminating a degree in electron, electrical engineering, or electronic engineering, I should say. That's the same thing I went for, too. See, that, that's the inspiration that he gave me. When I knew he was going to be an engineer, I wanted to be an engineer. And because of that, I became an engineer. So, um, <laughs> there we go. Armed with the knowledge and relentless spirit, he ventured into the professional realm commencing what will become a distinguished tenure as a clinical biomedical engineer at St. Francis Hospital. And if you guys don't know, Saturday Pass Owen has been with St. Francis for 35 years. Woo! 35 years. He should have joined, joined me at the federal level. He would have retired and wanted to another pension, but that's okay. 
Um, in 2009, Owen embraced a new chapter in his personal life, making the inception of his own family. The culmination of this journey occurred in 2016 when he exchanged files and entered the sacred institution of marriage with his wife, Leona, my sister-in-law. As we gather to celebrate Owen Roger Antoine, it is not just his professional accomplishments that take center stage, but also the harmonious blend of his personal and familiar milestones that continue to the rich mosaic of life. By the way, his daughter wrote this, but I changed it a little bit. And this is the last part of it, so. Thank you. Homer carries his heart on his sleeve. And all you guys know, Big O will make any and everybody laugh at this. Am I correct? Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Do you guys, do you guys know who Big O is? No. 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 Okay. Today's coming up. Big O. That's our bouncer. That's your bouncer? Okay. Um, Homer carries his heart on his sleeves and harbors a special love for his family, friends, and even strangers. Beyond his professional endeavors, he is also the longest standing member of SLAP, you have where his role cry. as the executive cry. member reflects his unwavering commitment to his duties. The greatest testament of Owen's character lies in his integrity and his reliability characteristics that have earned him admiration among his peers. His ability to put a smile on anyone's face and turn away any situation into a laughable situation, Owen showcases a remarkable blend of professionalism and humanity. Owen's influence extends beyond the confines of his workplace, widely recognized as a connector in the medical community. He has become the go-to resource for individuals aspiring to carve their path in the healthcare domain. His benevolent efforts have facilitated countless placements within the hospital across Connecticut, embodying the commitment of fostering the next generation of medical professionals. So today, we recognize my brother, Owen Antoine, for his amazing efforts, being an incredible and kind person to everyone. Today, we celebrate you, Owen, and thank you for all you have done and continue to do. Big O, big O, small O, medium O, all the O's. <laughs> all the O's, yeah. Where's the camera guy? You gotta take a picture though, yeah. You gotta take the pic. Yeah, you gotta take that pic, yeah. But aren't you giving him something? Yeah, you gotta give it to him. No, oh, she needs to read it first. Oh, she's gonna read it, okay. Yeah, so you can take the picture for Big O. Go on the white, go on the white, go on the, go on the gray, go on the gray. Who's gonna read it? So it says, in grateful appreciation for your years of dedicated service, thank you for your time and efforts, St. Lucian American Association of Connecticut. With our greatest appreciation, we uh, presented to Mr. Owen Antoine. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> so, 